The Prime Minister will determine whether to abolish the school milk program, which has resulted in several cases of food poisoning in school children. Dr. Sri Abdullah Mabadawi said in Kota Kinabalu today he would make the decision after studying a report on the program to be submitted to him by the Education Ministry. Earlier, he declared open the Rainforest Discovery Centre, RDC, in Sandakan, Sabah, in conjunction with the 36th World Forestry Day. He said the federal government was committed to sustainable forest management and was confident that the Sabah government would not award logging licences discriminately. Datuk Sri Abdullah said the government had taken various steps to promote sustainable forest management, especially through the criteria system, indicators, activities and the Forest Management Standard 2001 certification. A total of 65 companies had obtained the certification up to 2005. He said Malaysia was rich in biodiversity thanks to its tropical rainforests. The country could still maintain about 60% of its total area, or 19.52 billion hectares, as forest area. Of this, 14.39 million hectares had been gazetted as permanent forest reserve, while 3.21 million hectares earmarked as protected areas. He added the government had also expressed its highest commitment to the Heart of Borneo Conservation, a joint conservation project involving Sabah, Sarawak, Brunei and Kalimantan in Indonesia. At the function, the Premier witnessed the signing of two MOUs, the first between the Sabah Foundation Group and Synergy Farm Malaysia Sindam Berhad for an estate project to cultivate the Cavendish banana and the second between the Sabah and Kedah governments for a rubber plantation project.